Next, you may wish to perform a brief assessment of the 12 cranial nerves while the patient is sitting and facing you. Cranial nerve 1, the olfactory nerve, is typically not tested unless a neurological problem is suspected. In the head-to-toe assessment, cranial nerve 2, the optic nerve, can be assessed with a test for visual acuity by using a Snell and eye chart. Pupillary response was tested earlier. Cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6 control extraocular movement. I'd like you to look straight ahead, just right over my shoulder, and then I want you to follow my finger, okay? Next, test for the several components of cranial nerve 5, which includes motor response, sensory response, and the corneal reflex. All right, I'd like you to just clench your jaw for me. Just, okay, very good. And then I'm just going to check sharp and dull. Okay. So tell me if you're feeling anything, brush your skin. Just say yes or no. Yes. Cranial nerve 7 is assessed by inspecting the patient's movements of facial expression. Raise your eyebrows for me. Good, and relax. Squeeze your eyes tight shut. Good. And puff your cheeks. Relax. And show me your teeth. Excellent. Next, assess cranial nerve 8, which is responsible for hearing. Test one ear at a time. I'm going to whisper in your ear and tell me what you hear. 21. Excellent. 14. 14. Very good. Assess cranial nerves 9 and 10 by listening to the patient's voice. Is it hoarse or does it have a nasal quality? Open your mouth. Here you'll yeah. also ask the patient uh, to say ah or to yawn as you watch for symmetric movement of the soft palate, uvula, and the interior and posterior pillars and pharynx. For cranial nerve number 10, warn the patient that you are going to test the gag reflex. Then, stimulate the back of the throat lightly on each side in turn. Assess cranial nerve 11 from behind the patient. Look for atrophy or fasciculations in the trapezius muscles. Ask the patient to shrug both shoulders upward against your hands. Note the strength of the trapezius. From the front, ask the patient to turn his head to each side against your hand. Observe the contraction and force of the opposite sternomastoid and note the force of the movement against your hand. Assess the twelfth cranial nerve by inspecting the patient's tongue for atrophy or fasciculations. I'd like you to stick out your tongue for me. Then, with the patient's tongue protruded, look for asymmetry and deviation from the midline. 